Hello, I'm Kelly Ross, director of the Lippert Technical Institute, and today we're at the Aurora facility on the Forest River Complex. We want to go over the Aurora One Control System with you. Now, you have two different ways to operate this system. One is a manual keypad located just inside the door of your unit. The other is you'll have the opportunity to operate the system off of a tablet or your cell phone. And I want to show you how to connect to that. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you're going to want to do is go to your app store and download the LCI One Control app. The next step will be log into the mobile app. You can use your Facebook, Google, or Apple ID to sign in. After you've logged in, the next step will be to connect to your specific RV. There are three ways to do that. First, you can scan the QR code that will be inside of the unit, typically next to the touch panel. You could also utilize the push to pair feature. It'll be on your monitor panel. There'll be a button you'll be able to push and pair with your phone or tablet. Or you can search for devices if you're having trouble finding the sticker or the push to pair button. Once your RV is connected, you'll just push continue and it will ask you to enter your RV details. So you'll choose the year, make, model, and floor plan. Most of the time, the app will actually identify what your unit is and input those for you. Then you'll continue and you'll be asked to set up a pin. The pin is just designed to keep the unit safe as you tow. Nobody can get into the app and move slides or awnings or anything like that. So we'll use 1, 2, 3, and 4 for our pen. And at this point, you've set up your One Control app. Now this is your home screen for One Control. On the home screen, you'll see your battery voltmeter. You'll see a place to open up messages, which we'll talk about here in a little bit. You'll see all the things connected to the unit. So here you can turn on and off all your lights. You can run your awning in and out. You can run your slides in and out. You can click devices to get to those individual pieces to make them larger if you want on your mobile app. From time to time, you may receive messages on your mobile app. Those things will be annual maintenance reminders, tips about winterization, and lots of other information from your manufacturer. I'm going to show you some of the operations of your One Control app. So one of the first things that you can do, at the top you'll see the All Lights On or All Lights Off tab. We can turn on individual lights, and then you'll be able to move your awning in and out. Also, you have access to operate the water heater and water pump in the monitor panel section. Finally, down at the bottom here, we've got your slides. You'll be able to run that slide in or out with the mobile app, which is really nice as you set up. If you happen to be too close to a tree or any obstructions, you can actually stand right next to the slide and run it out as you're setting up. Let's walk through the setup of additional accessories you may want to add to your camper. At the upper left hand corner, you'll see a plus sign. When we tap on that, we can add manage accessories such as your rear camera, a propane sensor that monitors propane levels, a temperature sensor that can monitor refrigerator temperatures, and also tire link that will monitor temperatures and air pressure of your tires. When pressing the specific accessories tabs, you'll be given instructions on how to pair, whether it be use a QR code or just automatically connect. Let's take a look at your RV health monitor. We will tap on the health monitor to check your RV's essential systems. Here we have all green lights. This means all systems are as they should be. I'm going to open up the battery status drop down where we can see date and time that the battery was last checked as well as operation status. Now, if by chance we have a concern with one of the systems, this is where you will have access to helpful hints and contact information if you need any help. 
I hope that you found this video helpful, and please have fun and enjoy your camping experience. Thank you for watching.